I am going to be running my first marathon. I am so anxious. Last thing I got. <laughs> Class is about to start. I'm just so tired. Big soap, not the little one. Hey, odd fam. Welcome back to my diet. Oh my gosh, you guys, hey. This is gonna be such an interesting vlog and I wanted to sit down and talk to you guys. I have some ice cream with me. This is my favorite. It's Van Leeuwen Honeycomb French ice cream. And I'm just, it's currently Sunday night. I am going to be running my first marathon. Oh my God. I am literally freaking out. I was sitting on TikTok for like two hours, scrolling and watching. There's a bunch of TikToks about the marathon. So scared. <laughs> I am so scared, but I wanted to just intro you guys to this vlog and sit down and talk because... Hi, Barbie! One second. One second, y'all. Sorry, y'all, that was one of my close friends, Sonia. She's also a creator and influencer in New York, and we literally just became so close this year. It's been like two, three months, and it's so interesting because like friendships are so hard in your like late 20s, and it's so hard like navigating friends and like getting to know people and choosing to like stay in their lives or not, but I am just great, so grateful for her. I'm so grateful for her. Like she's been such a good like addition, and I think, like I hope it's vice versa for her too in my life. Like she keeps me grounded. She's so, so sweet she reminds me of myself a lot and i think i remind her of her friends i think it's like working and i think you guys will notice in the vlogs because i think one of my biggest things is like making friends especially because like all my friends are like on facetime that's why they always interrupt if you're new year hi <laughs> my name is sophie um a random thing that always happens in my vlogs is my friends always interrupt my vlogs i live in new york but i don't really have like a good friend group in new york city like group group of course i have folks that i talk to often but i don't really have like that group group of friends i also don't go out we should we'll talk about that in like other vlogs i think 2025 is my year of like okay we need to spread out a bit more sophie and get friends anyway i say that because soon has just been a special addition to my life and um, I'm so grateful for her. Um, but yeah, so I don't know if I wanna keep vlogging. Um, I don't think it's working out. <laughs> and I don't mean that like I'm complaining. I am so grateful for like my YouTube odd fam. I am so grateful for how much you guys pour into me. I just don't think, like I love vlogging, but I don't think it's working out for me and I don't know what I'm doing wrong and maybe I'm doing too much and I need to just focus up and it's something that you feel like you guys have seen like I tried 100 days of vlogs last year I've tried different styles of thumbnails titles like everything with YouTube and I feel like maybe I'm just doing too much and even when I try to dial it back and do shorter videos or I do really long videos like, it's just not working out and what I mean by that is my core audience like you guys who are watching this vlog right now the folks who watch all my vlogs like you guys ride and die for me and I love you so much this is not talking about you i promise this is more so for like because to find success on youtube i need to grow my channel needs to grow and if i'm not posting short form content my channel doesn't grow and i'm like what kind of vlogs should i be doing what kind of videos should i be doing to get people to like watch that are in my like audience i don't know if that sounds selfish or weird because i really want to i, I want to be a youtuber <laughs> is that weird I really want to be a YouTuber, you guys. I just really do. Like, I love YouTube. I love long-form content. I love sharing my life with you. Like, yo, I'm a 27-year-old girl living in her dream apartment in New York City. I am an immigrant. I came from Nigeria. Live in America now. Period. Accent. <laughs> um, 10 years ago. And I have created, like, this life for myself. I want to document my journey. I want to share this journey with anyone who's interested. I want to learn new things, explore life, and I want to document. I feel like I have zero memory memory from my childhood that's documented my family wasn't the kind of family who showed like stuff on camera or took photos a lot like we didn't do that so I really want to document that now I want to be able to watch these videos back and have people watch my videos back and see my journey and it's just been hard because I also just launched a podcast channel and that channel is doing really well goal in life is to be like the next female Kevin Hart isn't that weird anyways so to do that too and I think I also have like a different channel because I want to create shows online so I feel like I tend, I'm doing too much, right? I, but I'm not too much, right? <laughs> That's why I was like, this is gonna be a very different vlog. It's gonna probably gonna be a long vlog too because I am trying to just try different styles and see what you guys like or what the new audience likes because I think I'm just gonna start doing weekly vlogs. But the issue is like, my weekly vlogs could end up being like an hour long. And I don't think like that's the sweet spot. I think like a 35 minute video on YouTube is like fine if it's for week long content. But what I think I'm gonna do now is I'm going to start November. Every single week I'm gonna vlog till the end of December. So y'all are gonna get weekly vlogs. <laughs> 
um, and then we're gonna see if those work if they do well I'm gonna like be intentional about my thumbnails and we're gonna see if they work really well and if they don't we're gonna go back to like idea vlogs is what I call it so like what I eat in a day what I spend in a week da 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 and do those instead and see if those work or maybe I like a good mix I don't know I don't know I've tried everything you guys any suggestion you think let me know in the comments I've tried everything and I don't want to give up on the vlog channel but it feels like maybe my attention is getting drawn to other things like Instagram and TikTok and I just need to focus on those rather than the vlog but also selfishly I enjoy vlogging so I don't think I can ever like stop rant over for that second thing I want to talk about is I am running as you can see by the title I am running my first marathon why am I running why the f why the flying I running I can't tell you babe I can't tell you I can't tell you why I'm doing this to myself I don't know I don't know I don't know I'm gonna be documenting like some of the reasons on my other channels because I have two other channels crazy I know but I'm gonna be talking about it on the podcast which I have right here 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 I think it's gonna be out probably before you get this so you can like listen to the whole story so y'all are watching me before I run the marathon and I would have posted the marathon vlog just talking about my experience so you probably would have heard a lot about how marathon day went this vlog is gonna be preparation for the marathon like you're gonna see everything because this is like my week leading up to the marathon um if you don't know a marathon is 22 26.2 miles which is like if you don't use miles you use kilometers about 41 42 kilometers which is long i'm gonna show this clip That clip is of like the entirety of what I'm running, which is a lot. Now, I don't run. <laughs> I cannot run. I start 2024 thinking to myself, for the first time in my life, I'm okay. Like I am so blessed to be okay and grateful for how far I've come. So what does it look like to finally engage with life? Like put myself through things that would challenge me, not because it just happened in my life, but because I'm choosing to engage in it. I don't know if that makes sense to me. So like choosing to do like marathons, triathlons, like very athletic physical stuff, putting myself in a state of discomfort intentionally to see how hard I can push myself and how hard I can survive that. It's something that I started being very curious about this year. And then my friend Donald, who you probably see across all my channels is like great at running he loves running and he introduced me to running early last year or late last year 2023 and I was just like you know what bet 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 we're going to try it out I'm gonna see it and I'm telling you my first couple of runs I used to cry like I couldn't run a minute you guys I swear I could not run a minute and I still I'm not the best runner like I'm not great at nutrition I don't I like all these pace things if you don't know I'm just not I'm not saying that to be like oh my god I'm gonna persevere I'm genuinely serious if there's one person in this world who if you're like oh she ran a marathon I can too it's me. ow <laughs> it is me I cannot do it I can't I can't I can't yo it's so hard um, and I did not train well for it I'm running with a brand called Strava and they're like a uh, uh, like hike they're not a hike they're like a path app like if i want to figure out how what the running paths are in new york i'll go on strava and it will show me and it will check my mileage and everything like that so they reached out to me and they were like we heard you might be interested in running a marathon we have a spot in new york city do you want to run it and i said yes because if there's one thing sophie's going to do she's going to chase the damn bag okay i will always chase the bag <laughs> so look at me chasing the bag right now you guys so this is Sunday night. I literally said it's gonna be a 35 minute video and I think I've been talking for like a good amount of time already. So, yikes. I'm running the marathon. I am scared. I am terrified. I am very happy. But I'm also just like, let's, let's just get this thing over with. Let's get it done. I don't wanna do this anymore. Um, I'm really nervous. I'm really excited, but your girl's running this week. So what's gonna happen is this entire week, I'm going to get my shoes ready for marathon day. I'm gonna get the right socks. I'm gonna try out my clothes. My auntie, okay, do y'all remember the uncle I used to stay with in America when I first moved here? The one who like basically disowned me because I started social media and he said he doesn't want anything to do with me anymore. He doesn't want his kids seeing me. That uncle, well, um, his wife, they got divorced now. And so his wife is coming with 
the, my cousins who I have not seen in I think four to five years. Yeah, I've not seen them in a long time. And they're coming for the marathon to support me. And my auntie's like, for someone who's not a blood relative, who was married into a really like fucked up family, she is everything to me. And the fact that she's coming all the way here to support me is something that I do not take for granted because I just really want a family here. I don't think anyone understands how hard it is to run 40 kilometers like 26 miles and i really do i like to do hard things um because I, I know if i can do hard things i can conquer a lot of things in life and i really want to be successful i really want to be proud of myself and i want to make my mommy proud too Yo, i said my mommy that's so strange um i'm 27 girl chill but yeah so she's coming it's just great um she's coming with my cousins i have two nieces and one nephew and i don't think they know they're coming so um that'll be fun to surprise them my friend is in town with me she's also going to be supporting me sonia's going to be there donald's going to be there this entire week is just me getting some work done filming the podcast um prepping for marathon stuff getting my nutrition ready and set um fueling everything i'm going to use to prep like you guys are getting like the inside scoop all the days all the preps all the deets for marathon day um i'm not gonna be doing a lot of running in this vlog because for marathon day you don't really need to like what they tell you is like the like two weeks before the marathon you're supposed to taper that's what they call it taper i'm gonna try to put what that looks like what that means here you're basically supposed to slow down your running because on that day like your body's going to go through it excuse me so yeah that's my intro it's pretty long but i wanted to like give you guys a layout or rundown of like what's going to be happening on the channel um things going up and oh your girl is going to be going to kenya next week like after the marathon the next vlog is going to be me in kenya i think so um that's fun you guys get to see that it's so much <sighs> i am so grateful um so yeah that is gonna be this is the intro for the vlog this is very new i feel like it's not new because it feels like this is like old sophie type of vlogs except like very like lower energy i watched my old vlog and i was like yo i had such high energy in my videos like i used to be so jumpy and like i still am that but i feel like i'm not that all the time because i'm 27 now when i started this i was like what 20 seven years i'm so proud of me i'm so proud of me and how far i've come how far we've come together um, if you've been here from the beginning let me know in the comments but let's see what this looks like a new era of like weekly vlogs till the end of the year if it goes well then we're gonna keep it if we don't if we don't like it then we're gonna switch it out in january but i want to be disciplined i want to be proud of myself and we're gonna work together to do that i love you so much i'm going to go to i'm gonna go to bed i probably should but i won't um i still want to talk to someone and then once i'm done talking um, i'm gonna try to go to bed now i've been taking let me show you guys i've been taking these goalie sleep gummies i don't know if they help or it's a placebo effect i'm not sure but i've been taking them because i have been struggling with sleeping because of the anxiety from running like every time i'm like sophie why the fudge are you doing this to yourself so i'm gonna take these in like what time is it right now it's like seven o'clock my goal is to go to bed at like 10 30 okay not gonna happen i'm gonna attempt to do it though but i don't think it's gonna happen we're gonna see because i have to wake up at 6 30 7 a.m i like to wake up at 7 a.m i'm shooting the podcast tomorrow which is a monday i film podcasts every monday so it's really fun and we're filming an episode on alcoholism that i think was gonna come out later on in the year because i've also not drank in a week and i don't i don't want to call it a sobriety journey because i'm only not drinking because of the marathon i'm curious to see what it would look like if i stopped drinking like generally I'm really nervous about that. Like speaking it out. I'm so sorry, yo, I spilled ice cream. I am attempting to clean it out now. I have not drank in a week and a half now. And I realize I'm trying to figure out what my relationship with alcohol looks like because I, it's just, it's a long thing. Y'all listen to the podcast, but that's a thing too. And alcohol used to help me sleep a lot. I'll just make a cocktail. I'll chill on the couch, watch TV, fall asleep. And I'm like, no, trying to do that now. So it doesn't help that I just took ice cream because that's sugar. But she's also trying to figure out like healthy nighttime cocktails I can take because if you know, I have ADHD and my mind goes like <laughs> all the time, all the time. So it can get a bit too much for me, um, but we'll see. We'll see. Okay. Um, we are going to go now. I'm really nervous to vlog this week because weekly vlogs are very overwhelming but i think it'll be really cool if i did this and i did this well and you guys enjoy it then we'll keep them and make it a thing um i'm really inspired by Aaliyah's face um on tick on youtube she does a really good job at weekly vlogs and she's built such a committed audience because of it so we'll see how this goes i love you guys so much you give me the space to be who i am like if anything else about having a job with social media it is knowing that when i put on this camera my sony a6700 with my sigma 15 millimeter lens 10 millimeter lens i think i can just be myself and you guys support me for that and you watch me grow and you make me feel really proud of myself with everything i'm doing and i'm so grateful i think that's it i think that's it i don't know why i'm stalling i don't want to end this vlog because i'm alone in the house right now and i'm like damn i miss you guys 
I haven't like vlogged like intentionally like this in a minute. Yeah, I have to change my nails soon. Okay, I love you. I'll see you bright and early Monday for the start of my week. And by this time next week, I would have finished my first marathon and I have no words. Wish me luck. I love you. Bye guys. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. guys i feel like every time i record i clap my hands first before i start talking is that weird i think that's so weird i took those sleep gummies and i started having a migraine so i ended up taking an ibuprofen as well to help me sleep and it actually it helped me a lot to sleep it helped me a lot a lot so that was good um good morning i'm about to brush my teeth because i'm trying to not okay here's the thing i'm trying to not come online anymore looking crusty i have been told that i might be letting go of an aesthetic and y'all don't know if this is a bad thing or not but i've basically been told that i tend to like not take care of my appearance enough like when i come on youtube like this is me you can definitely see like my sleep crust on my mouth my eyes are still crusty from last night lashes are all over the place like my hair is probably fuzzy and i like i don't care like y'all this is a vlog it's like morning this is who i am but allegedly i should be presentable every single time i show up online and on camera i don't know how true that is but i don't think it hurts to try to be a lot more presentable or at least to like do something different you know what i mean so we're gonna be trying this this vlog where I try to appear as clean. You know, not clean, because clean is not the word, because I'm very clean, but like just not as I don't want to say raggedy, but like just maybe not as crazy as I typically would come online and look crazy. Or if I am looking crazy, at least like not looking too crazy. I don't know. Also, this is from Aerie and I love them so much. And I tore this. I'm like, should I reach out to them and ask them for another one? I'm so sad. It's like it has a whole hole in here, but it's so comfy. I don't know if you all can see it. Hold on. Let me show you. I don't think I showed you guys yesterday properly but it is like a cute romper set that i've been wearing to bed and i really like it you guys i still have a body of a 21 year old or something i look so tiny <laughs> your girl has been trying to grow ips and butt for a while now it's still not worked out anyways so good morning i'm about to brush my teeth start my day donald he's gonna be here and we are going to be filming the podcast um this is my toothpaste that i love that i love using toothpaste toothbrush brush my teeth shower put some makeup on and start podcast recording that's all we typically do today is just record the podcast and because there's so much going on that has to do with the podcast we tend to meet after get some things aligned and that is pretty much it for this monday i wanted to record my podcast on monday because i wanted to feel like i was accomplished for the week ahead like if i recorded this podcast in the morning then i knew for a fact that i was gonna be you know have my shit together the entirety of the week so also for this vlog i am trying really 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 hard not to curse i curse a lot and the issue with me cursing a lot is because i don't think f-u-c-k b-i-t-c-h i don't think those are like curse words because where i'm from curse words are like or like mali jatsi jatsi like these kind of words you know what I mean? I'm going to put their meanings here. F-U-C-K to me just doesn't give like, so it's just, it just sounds so fun to say, but I know they're bad curse words and I'm trying because I'm like, maybe that's why my YouTube channel also like doesn't get monetized or work well. So we're going to try not to curse this vlog. If I do curse, I'm going to try to bleep it out. So um, yeah, let's brush our teeth and let's get our day started. <laughs> guys we're literally on the balcony right now we're about to shoot the podcast i was gonna do makeup on but i really 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 don't want to um the boys think i should um donald said i look ugly af without makeup on but i just really don't want to put makeup on so we're gonna see if the like the view looks okay if not then i'll put makeup on if it doesn't then we'll leave it does it look good <laughs> I don't think that's bad. I don't think I look crazy. Should I put concealer on? This is, okay, I think we're gonna do, we're gonna use this episode to test it out. No makeup on, just we're just gonna test to see if like this episode does well. If the episode does well, then I might like, if I don't feel like I put makeup on, I won't put makeup on. If I do, cause I always, there's one thing I always like to say is every time like I'm portrayed online, I was just talking about this in the shower. Um, the biggest thing for me is honestly, as a black girl, like, if you're not looking as presentable or like you know 
slick skin, da 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 da. You might not be perceived a certain way. Like my thumbnails, for example, if I have makeup on my thumbnails, they do better than when I don't have makeup on my thumbnails. Like little things like that that just happen that I take note of for like next time. So um, I'm gonna do the no makeup look today. I'm just gonna brush my brows, brush my lashes, and put lip gloss on see how it works and then we'll see we'll see how this goes i also like my fit today i'm wearing this comfort hoodie set from literally comfort collection pastel edition love the color i've been in my pink era lately clearly but yeah we're about to record the podcast and then after that i am going to get some rest do some work and that'll be it guys i ended up not wearing makeup but i actually ended up being like a pretty good solid show i look so crazy right now but it ended up being a really good show um we talked about alcohol. We made a really fun deal that you would see in the episode. It comes out, I think, in December, right? Because we're filming early. Hmm? December 12. December 12. December 12? Really? Yeah. Shoot. Okay. Yeah, That's late. It's before the On holiday, it's right? Before holiday. So um, we'll see if I actually stick to my word. I, I will. You look like you're judging me. <laughs> So it was a really good episode. Typically after the podcast, we like upload the stuff on to drive for the editors to start editing. And that's pretty much it. This is the gang. Say hi, gang. <sighs> it's the vlog fam. I have, it's so crazy. I have the vlog fam now. I have the pod fam and I have the odd fam. The odd fam is like everybody who like follows me everywhere. The pod fam is only people who like me on my podcast. The vlog fam is only that? vlogs. Yeah, some people who are part of the odd fam who are not pod fam. Yeah, some people just don't like podcasts and that's okay. Why don't you like podcasts? Exactly, why? Also, people who don't like huh? long vlogs, but like my social media. So like, it's different. Also, like, this vlog, when you see, you're gonna be like, what the f*** is going on? My hand hurts. I don't know. It hurts. Like, which part? Yeah. What does it hurt? I don't know. Oh, you do that! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it hurts. Do like this. Oh, that hurts. Wait, for real? Mm-hmm. What does it hurt? I don't know. Why are you asking me that? You know that's one thing that happens when you run, right? Like your, your I just like want to be crying. done with this shit. Oh, this is the marathon vlog. This is marathon vlog? Yeah. Okay. We're really excited about it. <laughs> They're looking at the camera at the same time. <laughs> you want rice? You I have, have rice? rice? Yes. Nah, if you're watching this, see, I didn't have to force him to say yes. He what said it with joy in his eyes. Oh my god, you want to try jello fries today? Yeah. Just a little bit. If you don't know who this is, this is a new character in the Odyssey universe. This is Briggs. Briggs, what do you do? I, uh, I really don't know. Okay, well, <laughs> you need to figure that out, Briggs. <laughs> okay, this is, let's do like a little quick one, two, one, two. Interviews, podcasts, comedy shows, comedy specials. Wait, like you film that or you do it? Like you're a comic? I am not a comic. Okay, <laughs> I was like, damn, I didn't know that. No. Oh, you like film that. So you're like a... He tells stories through comedy. There you go. So why don't, like, why doesn't he help us more? <laughs> huh? Why doesn't he help us more? Does no, he not like us? That's what he's doing though. Yeah, but like he doesn't like do a lot more. Are you a comic? No. No, you're yeah, not joking. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you F you. You're like, are you a comic? No, then what the fudge. But yeah, um, you guys, this is fun. It was really fun. So this is a team. We're about to just get some work done on the laptop, get some stuff together, and then that'll be the end of the day, actually. I'm really excited for this episode. It was a really good episode. I hope you guys, I'm excited for you guys to see it. This is the, I don't know if y'all can see it, but this is a Zoom call for everyone. The deck for you, um, highly recommend taking notes. I will also send this out afterwards, but. Um... How's everybody feeling? Do we get a thumbs up or anything? Are we feeling excited for the race? Y'all, oh, let me do this, okay. The lighting is probably so terrible right now, but I just wanted to let you guys know I am done. This was like the meeting with the Strava team to tell us about the marathon, everything we need to know. And, um, <laughs> God, I am fighting my people pleaser, not people pleaser, like my, I want to excel instincts and just like, I want to just run the entire race. And I also know like that's not possible because I am a first time marathon runner. Like, what am I doing? So, um, your girl's freaking out a bit. It was really fun because they told us about like running up the bridge. There's like five bridges I have to run up on. Why did I do this? That's the question I keep asking myself. Why did I do this? 
excuse me, I don't know. But it was a good meeting. That was our last meeting before race day and race weekend, which is coming up really soon. Um, I also have like all the notes about like bags I need to check, everything like that. I am still freaking out, but we'll see how it goes. I love y'all. Peace out. <gasps> H-Town, peace out. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Hey guys, okay, so it is Tuesday. Um, I am headed to run a few errands. The wind is probably like so annoying right now, but the fact that I'm about to run a marathon and I'm walking uphill and I'm out of breath like this is crazy. But um, I am walking past the Javits Center, which is where the Marathon Expo is happening. I can like see it through the windows. It's like huge. They've already put stuff up and everything too, which is pretty iconic. On Friday, I'll be back here for the actual expo. Am I out of breath? Oh my God. Woo, it's not good. It's not a good sign so. And now I'm just walking because I need to go run some errands and also get some groceries because I need to be carb loading right now as marathon is almost here. Ah! I'm nervous, excited. Why am I walking in the middle of the road? Hold on a second. I want to do a quick OOTD. A few moments later. Guys, I'm at Whole Foods because, again, we're talking about nutrition here. So I really want to spend some time today to go through my friend Donald. Um, his girlfriend is like the best and she's like been doing a lot of like cooking content and she's also doing like a weight gain weight loss journey I'm not sure which one it is either way She'd sent me a few options of things to buy from Whole Foods. I'm going to try so we're gonna do some shopping and get our nutrition on lock because I've been trying new things for food and I've been liking it So yeah, I'm in Whole Foods. I haven't shopped in a long time. So let's go <laughs> took my time and I got a bunch of stuff and it was like all like a hundred dollars which is not bad but also like for it was not a lot of stuff but we'll see how these work Yay! hey y'all okay back home um I already did like an unboxing because y'all saw like the sequence of what I got but what I wanted to do before I head to dinner is show you guys what I'm actually really excited for which is these like teriyaki things everything else I got is just like mostly grocery stuff so I'm not mad at it but we're gonna try this, see if we like it or not. This is like seaweed. It's not bad. I'm gonna try it. Yeah. It's not bad. It's not bad. Try it. Yeah, I would not want to say that. I promise you. It's not bad. It's not good. <laughs> what? It's not bad. It's not good. Yeah. Okay, cheers. Many cheers. <laughs> a little too fishy for me. <laughs> a bit. No. So fishy. Mm -mm. Ah, no. Mm -mm. It's a no from us. Guys, we came to get sushi, and um, this is my first time going out but when I've stopped drinking alcohol, and already a girl yeah, struggling. I'm fine so, um, I got Wait, some California roll shrimp tempura, and I want to um, do the hidden sprite. A sprite. <sighs> I already regret my decision, but it's okay, it's all good. So, we're gonna get the sprite, and um. Yeah, this is gonna be hard. What's gonna be hard? Not drinking for a year. You're not gonna drink for a for year? For a year, a whole year. I'm so proud of you. Don't disgust me. <laughs> Don't piss me off. What? When did you decide? On the fucking podcast. Oh, so like it's like you can't back out. I can't back out. Honestly, I would not. Album exactly. So I could but like lie. yeah, but don't. I will. <laughs> Are you gonna That looks so good. You gonna smell it? 
I hope this is not the best cocktail I've ever had in my life. <laughs> but it's close to you, so if it is, you can just get it in the next one year. <laughs> you know? Next one year. Okay, it's okay. I'm a big girl. I can do this. What's funny is by the time this podcast comes, goes live, they won't know that I made the plan. It's like I announced it in this podcast, but I'm so disgusted oh. by this right now. Oh. Guys, look at this. Look at me, look at me, look at me. Sprite with sushi Excuse is sacrilegious. Me. Sprite with sushi is like, I can't get out second. You can't, no. That's liquor. Oh, That's liquor. That is liquor. I don't even like soft drinks. Like, I don't like Sprite. I don't yeah, like no, Sprite. I, I don't like Fanta. I would drink I like water Fanta. instead of that. But no, because sushi is taste in my mouth would drive me Really? I need something to wash it out. It's not bad. It's not bad. I can do this. It is pretty dark. Let me try to adjust the lighting a bit here. Okay, it's pretty dark, but I'm finally home. Sushi was terrifying. Sendo made me try this scallop raw sushi that was disgusting. So I am feeling like sick right now, but the rest was really good. Actually, uh, I don't know if I told you, I think I've mentioned this like way early in the year. I started taking acting classes which was fun, so I am in the next step. So I'm taking improv two and acting two now, um, which I'm really excited about. So we have class today virtual. I used to go in person before, but I where I live, there's no like good schools close by and it was just really expensive to keep going to Brooklyn for classes. Just because it was just expensive. Like I was spending a lot of money on Uber going back and forth. It was gonna take me like an hour and a half to get to class every like twice a week it was too much, so. We're doing acting classes. Class starts at eight, it's currently seven o'clock, so I'm gonna still get some work done tonight. And then once class gets started, I'm gonna do class and I'm gonna go to bed. Tomorrow we're gonna do like everything marathon prep, so get my name on my marathon outfit, try it on, get fresh socks. I think my shoe is gonna get delivered tomorrow as well. I'm gonna set up all my gels so I know what gels I'm gonna be running with. I'm gonna run tomorrow three miles, just very easy, very light. I know that's gonna be tough, but I'm gonna just try to like see how my body's feeling. I worked out today and I feel really good, so I'm not too worried. So yeah, I am just gonna get some work done, wait for class, and then that's it. the viewfinder for some reason because i feel like it might be a bit too dark but honesty hour um 10 minutes before class starts i am so discombobulated right now you guys i don't know what's going on i think it's just a also my period is coming my period is coming let me reel it back a little bit when you have so many passions such interests you feel like you're doing so many different things and i know i need to like bring it all in and bring it all together i don't know how yet i'm trying to figure that out but sometimes like today i'm sitting here and i'm looking and i'm like why am i doing so much and nothing is working out even though that's such a dramatic way of thinking about it that's what it feels like right now so your girl's a bit frazzled um but class is about to start hopefully it's good i really don't want to do class right now i don't know if like i'm adding more to my plate by also taking acting and improv class i don't know i don't know i don't know you guys but these dreams are not gonna chase themselves, you know? So I guess I'm just gonna keep going. My nose is so shiny right now. <sighs> You're the baddest bitch alive. Relax. Oh, <gasps> no cursing. My bad. <laughs> Next melding. Good something. I think it's like new now. Um, crazy day. I just got back from an event. I went with Apple, like Apple Watch. I don't know if you watched my last vlog, the my apartment makeover vlog. In that vlog, Apple sent me the Apple Watch Ultra, and so they like invited me and like maybe ten other creators. Y'all, I was the only black girl there. Isn't that crazy? Um, to like 
chat about the Apple Watch and stuff. I'm charging my watch, but I've been using it. I love it. I've always only ever used Apple Watches. So it feels like a full circle moment. Shout out to Apple for like showing me love. Today is shopping day. So I'm going to like finalize my marathon day outfit. Everyone is like, make sure you have everything ready to go. So you're not overwhelmed on the day of or you feel like you don't have everything. So I actually got this outfit from Strava. These are like running shorts. They had like New Balance and Strava. And then I also have this Strava shirt as well. I don't know, like they didn't say I had to wear it, but I don't have anything else to wear. It, so I'm not stressing about it. So I'm gonna try it on see what it looks like. I need to go buy some socks. I'm gonna try on the socks I have and the shoes I want to have for actual marathon day. And we're gonna see if I like it. So let's do that real quick. Hey guys, okay, so this is my marathon day outfit. I think what I'm gonna do is put my like name here. Um, and then my actual name, like Sophie, I'm gonna put Sophie here. And then my actual bib, the bib that you run the race with, I'll put it here. But the thing is, I thought I was gonna be running with my vest. That was my plan, but I'm not sure if I can run with a vest in New York because I've trained with running with a vest the entire like time. And I'm like, I think I can, but then I think it blocks my name and I'm not sure, because then maybe I can put my name on the back here like this is what i trained with i gotta ask my friend let me ask my friend because she's running the marathon and she would know but essentially i'm just gonna have like a backup outfit just in case i don't know because they don't let you take run packs right because they said that this year they're letting they're allowing run packs from what like i was told i think that should be fine then. Ah! Yeah. okay okay switched it out and i'm gonna be wearing these because i've trained in them and they don't shave like running is fine i just need to get um a bra what do you call it? Like a bra top. I hate wearing sports bras, but we need to go get a sports bra and socks from Aritzia. Because I heard Aritzia socks are really nice. And we'll be good to go. So let's go shopping. I just got my little marathon thing signed. I got my name on it and this like store is huge. Like so many people here. I was gonna get some like running gear here, but I think I'm just gonna wait and go to Aritzia because Aritzia I trust and like I know their stuff and I want to like come here properly and like actually do like running shopping probably like after the marathon. But everything is like literally, I'm still walking around the store, so many things, but anyways. I might want like a little, sorry, <laughs> like a little sweater, but I don't think, I think I'm just gonna go because I feel like I'm overwhelmed and I don't know where to start from. So I'm gonna wait and come back. Let me go to Aritzia. Aritzia, I know. I'm not stressed about Aritzia. All right, I love you. Guys, all right, so we are done in Aritzia. I'm heading home now. I have a bunch of meetings that I honestly missed. So I gotta go literally log in ASAP I just got some really bad news I don't know if I told y'all but I was supposed to go to Kenya this after the marathon to like be on a, in a magazine and that's not working out anymore so your girl is pretty sad about that I thought it was gonna happen I was really pumped I was looking forward to it and now that it's not happening anymore I'm a bit sad about it but it's okay it's all good um I'm gonna take the train home just because I'm like it will be quicker and I'll just I'll catch up with you when I get home. Oh, I'm so mad right now. Yo. <laughs> hey guys, all right. So I just met like a biggest fan, and like literally. <laughs> Wait, I gotta say, you gotta say hi. You gotta say hi. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you can't cry. That's so sweet. <laughs> Odd fam, you like the food? Hey guys, hey 
guys, it is Thursday. Do not know what does that mean? Unboxing day. No. Content day. No. Ah. Donald. Oh, it's our meeting day. No. Wait. Three days till the marathon. It's not three days. It's two days. Ah, shit. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. That's four days. That's not four days. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Three days. Oh, it's three days. Technically, it's two and a half. Please. Hey, guys. No sense. You guys, it is a few days before the marathon. Your girl is feeling really good. <laughs> I want to open some packages. I have a bunch of packages here, and I was like, you know what? Let me do a cute unboxing. I like unboxings. I don't know why. I always feel like it's extra presents I'm getting. This one is really special. You don't pass my. Yes, I do. I don't have scissors. Is that what the nails are for? No, I don't want to hurt my nails. Oh, bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it. The iPad. You guys, we finally got an oh, actual. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, because I was like, is it the right one? Because I usually use my iPad when I'm talking. It has a space for the pen! You guys! All the way from Australia, I'm gonna try to link the Etsy shop I put, I got this from. Oh, it was Etsy. It was Etsy. Oh. And they were so quick, so convenient. I just sent them the like actual like JPEGs. Yeah, the Cause I wanted black yeah, and I best. wanted the white one there. You guys, this is actually cool and I can do this. I could do this so you guys can like see it. It wow. looks so good on the shop. <laughs> is that your accent? Aussie accent. Please. This is really pretty. Someone got me a gift for a marathon. These are features elite. Apparently they're supposed to be like really good running socks for no blisters. I don't know if I should wear them, if I've never worn them before, but these are supposed to be like really, really cute and good for marathon day. Thank you! You know who you are. I appreciate it. It's the little things that count. Shout out to the good people in my life, for real. Ooh, compression socks. I was supposed to be traveling to Kenya. I told you guys yesterday that my Kenya trip got canceled. Did I tell you that? So now, I am not going and I'm very sad and I was trying to figure out what to do and um, socks. We'll I'll tell you about Anyways, I got compression socks for the plane. Oh, that's not for running? I don't know. I don't know. That feels like you because I don't know. I don't really like running. Oh, well, never mind. They're run compression socks. You don't like running with ankle socks? Yeah, because that's really? like machine hard. Okay, well, I'm going to try running with compression socks after the marathon, though. This is all for like. Because I, I realize I don't have enough to run with them. I look crazy. The colors don't match. <laughs> the colors don't match. Like, my outfit is orange and blue and like green. That, like, sounds, I gonna... like, that sounds exciting, though. No, it doesn't. No, I'm going to look a <laughs> rainbow. Wait, link in the description or a link to my Amazon. Okay, what's next? I got this Scratch Labs Hydration Fruit Punch. What? You're dropping gems, bro. Like... <laughs> I got this as well. It was crazy. This should have been energy like three months ago. Right? You know what I mean? Like me doing this three days before the marathon is a bit crazy. But um, yeah, this is just for hydration. If you're a salty, sweaty person, you take two. It's supposed to help like electrolytes. So I'm going to have this in my drink plus Gatorade just because I feel like this might be better. They did. They said to not do anything new. My body is not dramatic. Like she's like she's she's cool. She doesn't like do too much. So I feel like I'm fine if I try something new on race day. Cause I feel like it also keep me excited for race day. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I feel like if I'm like doing the same thing, I'm gonna get bored. I tend to get a little bit, a lot bored, you guys. <gasps> ah! I also got an official New York City marathon like jersey thingy like light thing the quality is like insane new balance, or they new balance. They, no, they sent no they didn't send like i bought it myself i'm gonna wear this at the end it doesn't say finisher on it and i wanted it to say finisher but that's okay but this is what it looks like let me show you so what it looks like is it cute that's fire ah! <laughs> period okay that's it i'm so excited i'm really so excited for this i was like what is this please is this a hat or shoes? This is from Huda Beauty. It's a bag. It's a bag, I think. And it's like different stuff for winter. And a hat. And a hat. That's, That's cute. I'm black though. I'm gonna definitely it stain this. It socks. It will. Put it down. What, what size do you Thanks, have? Huda Beauty. I'm gonna like, I like like open PR on Instagram, so I'm gonna keep this so I can open it on IG. I've been wanting to get like hot option for like these glass things with straw, so I got one. You see that? 
What? Hot. Leave me alone. And it has like a cover so I can like sip tea and stuff. I want it to also get like little jewelry thing. Sorry, I'm making so much noise. Oh, it has like different compartments. Oh, Amazon. This was Amazon. Isn't this iconic? I'm telling you, like, I just went on a shopping spree on Amazon the other day. So I feel like I want this on my actual like jewelry thing has like a lot of tiny pieces that I get lost. So I tend to wear smaller earrings. So now I can put my smaller earrings in here and my everyday necklace is in here as well. I also need a ton of glass straws because I always have people in my house and they always use my straws and then they break them. Not looking at anyone who's broken my straw before. I've never used your straw before. <laughs> because they're all broken by people. But these are like glass straws that I got as well from Amazon. So I'm like, I buy matcha a lot. I want to make sure like all my straws are cute and cute. Look at how cute this is. Is it bent or is it me? It's not bent. It's not, is it straight? I'm so bad at returning stuff, you guys. Like I'm not that person. Like, if I have something, if it's already spent, why would I stress myself and return it? I also got this little like, so I feel like it might be cold on Sunday. So I got like a heated undergarment for running, but I'm also like, I'm, I'm gonna be too hot. And the weather has been really nice in New York. So instead, this is just like more running outfits. This is like a little long sleeve black sweater thing. And I heard that Gogo -Go Squeeze is really, really good for your run. So I got Gogo -Go Squeeze. And this time they have Gogo -Go Squeeze with electrolytes, Donald. You guys know how much I love. If you know my vlogs, you know I love Gogo -Go Squeeze. And so now they have it with like electrolytes. So I'm gonna try this out. I hope it like tastes the same. I'll be so mad if it doesn't. Last thing I got is from New Balance. The fact that I'm really buying all these things the day before the marathon or three days is crazy. Mm -hmm. Look at this. What I thought. They are so sexy to me. Mm -hmm. Like look at this curve. <laughs> What? Crocs and New Balance sponsor your girl. That's the dream. Like, work with Crocs before? No, Dude, they've yeah. always gifted. Like they were so, I was supposed to work with them this year and they canceled. Mm. Maybe they don't with me. <gasps> I'm just joking. Yara, take this out. Yara, keep it in. No, take it out. Yara is my editor. Keep it in. Take it out. We'll see what she's gonna do. If Anyways, it, it, it's all, if you put it in, someone should cut it and send it to Crocs. Yeah, it's be like Crocs. Hashtag Crocs work with Sophie. But um, the color is amazing. And this is also like my gym shoe, right? This is a good gym shoe, or just running. We could feel like gym too. Right? Yeah. The 1080s, I love these so much. Like you guys, they're so cute. And they're green. Did you notice they're green? Okay, this one's fine now. Anyways, that's my unboxing. Um, we're about to go work for a bit, even though I'm supposed to be out of office today on my calendar. Somebody did not respect the calendar and decided to make me feel guilty about not working. So your girl's gonna go work a bit and then that would be it. My auntie called me yesterday and told me she's surprising my cousins, which I told you guys already. So they don't know that they're still coming to see me, but she's like my niece. No, my cousin guy, my boy cousin. <laughs> Basically, he was talking about how he thinks they're coming here. I've not seen them in like five to seven years. So tomorrow is going to be a very like emo day before marathon day, which I'm really excited about. Um, so yeah, I'll check in with you guys later. About to go work from a little cafe. I'm really excited. I love these shoes. Should I wear them now? Oh, that's weird. Because why did we just do the craziest thing right now, you guys? Like, is this not insanity? So I let me call my friend real quick because this is actual absurdity. <laughs> yeah, this is I so literally crazy. call my friend Manny Wells. He's an incredible artist, and he tells me that he ran three miles today. And I was like, he's trying to target. Tell the vlog. I was just show the vlog. I tell ah, them the story. <laughs> Cause he's not gonna back down. So he told me that he's gonna be run, want, his goal is to run 10 miles. And we're like, let's. <laughs> <laughs> and we said, we have to run a half marathon. I'm, yo, I've not run my first marathon. I just signed up for the Brooklyn half marathon. Literally. And Donald is signed up right now. Manny chicken yeah. out and said he's That's not gonna so sign out good. until he's done with his session. I'm doing it. I'm signing up after this session. I'm telling you right now, it's on the vlog. So if Manny doesn't run the yeah. Brooklyn Half next year with us in April 27, 2025, he's a flake. Look at no, his face. We're doing it. We're doing it. <laughs> Bye, friends. Right. Why the f? <laughs> <laughs> the fact that I just signed up for another marathon is crazy. Is this a thing now? Am I going to be like a marathon girly? But we also need to sign up for Jersey City. Donald, please. No, no, no. Remember, you said, you said you're doing Jersey City with me. I'm not doing the Jersey Full Marathon with you. I'll, let me run the last one with you. And I'll record you. Okay. I'll run the last 10. Okay, with me? Yes. Okay, cool. Yes. Let's cool. do that. I'll do that. I'll do okay. that. Shake so Donald on. is running. <laughs> <laughs> Donald is running the last 10 of the New York Marathon with me to record me and like interview me and stuff for the last 10. 
if he can try to like sneak on the course but i think he'll be able to he just needs to like catch it at the right time and i would sneak on the course for jersey and run with him he just runs really fast and i keep trying to tell him to slow down because marathon is a sprint no the marathon is not a sprint. See? It's a what? What is the what's the saying? It's about the journey. Period. It's about completing. Oh my god, my brother my brother actually texted me something like that. Hold on, let me read really? it. He really did it because he was like, I always rush in life and I, this is what's gonna teach me to slow down. It's a marathon just like life, you take it slowly. Okay. Thanks, broski. Alright, y'all. We'll see you tomorrow because my cousins will be here and we'll be like all set. We're gonna go to the marathon expo, all that fun stuff. And we'll be done. Yeah. <gasps> oh. A few hours later. scarf so it is friday i went to bed early i know um, it's like i woke up at like 3 30 a.m like in a panic so stupid i don't know why i pushed myself so hard but i know i'm gonna be proud of myself I'm sorry i want to record this i don't know i'm whispering My best friend and I told her to just tell me that she's proud of me and that she loves me and I'll be okay it's like 5 30 a.m and I can't sleep I am so anxious I'm so scared and I know like you guys see me a lot online and I'm happy and I'm like jumping around and I do feel I was just happy a few hours ago but I also get really anxious and I've prayed I've prayed um and I just know I'll be okay. I know this is like normal because you're gonna be scared of doing things that you don't know. I know I'm afraid because I've never done this before. I don't know how hard it's gonna be on my body. I don't know if I'm gonna finish. I know I have to finish. My period is also coming. So you know that's also why I might have my period on marathon day. And I'm so, I have like nasty stuff on my face. I cry so ugly. I am so proud. Because 0.001% of the world's population run marathons. And I never used to run. Look at me trying to run now. This is not the life I envisioned for myself. And every time I look around me and I see what I've done for myself, I'm so proud of it. I'm so proud. But I'm also so scared. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My eyes are going to be so swollen in the morning. Ew. I look like a fucking fish. <laughs> Anxiety sucks because my mind keeps telling me I'm stupid for doing this. No one asked me to do this. Why am I doing this? What if I hurt myself? I was really excited to go to Kenya because I was going to rest. And I, everyone was like, my team is like, you need to work. Holiday season is coming. This and this and this and so many things are happening. And I'm just so tired. And I still have a f marathon to run and by the time you see this i would have run it and i know it would have finished i know it's gonna be so stupid if i like when i watch this video back because <laughs> i know i would have finished and i know it would go well and maybe it won't i don't know but i'll be proud of myself either way for doing it so i'm gonna be okay you're gonna be okay like what is life if you're not living it and pushing yourself and being better every day i know i'll be a better woman after my marathon i'm already a better woman with all the things i've started doing for myself i feel so ugly right now <laughs> that's my dyson it's pretty cute okay i'm done crying my auntie comes with my cousins so i don't think i'll have the time i feel like to process these emotions i think that's why i'm also crying because like I don't think I'm going to have time to process it. I think once it's morning, it's officially marathon weekend because it's going to be, it's a Friday, November 1st. It's going to be officially marathon weekend. I think I'm going to spend all my time making sure everybody's okay. I have to cook for my cousins. I have to cook for my cousins and my auntie and I have to just clean the house and get it all ready for them. They've never been here in my place before. Sorry. <laughs> I'm really proud to show them my apartment and see what they think. I'm just really excited. I'm excited to see them. And then tomorrow's chill. I'm just gonna stretch. And once I stretch, Saturday, my friend Joyce is calling me. <laughs> She's gonna kill me because I didn't pick up, but I know for a fact if I tell this 
I'm crying. She's gonna be like, why the f are you running? I'll call her tomorrow. Okay, that's a good wake up call. I forgot what I was saying, but we're gonna be okay. Hey guys, good morning. If y'all remember, we were here earlier this week to um, walk past. I forget what we went to do. I think I was running errands or something. And now we are about to actually go into the expo to like check it out, get our bib, do all those things. I'm really excited, really nervous, but also like I'm I'm excited. I'm excited for like, you know, it's finally happening. It is time. There's so many people, like so many people. Like so many people are here. Yeah, it's crazy. And then Donald is like right behind me. I'm vlogging like the actual marathon on my other channel because I'm going to be doing a new series that I'm really excited to like launch and this will be the first video for that series. <sighs> Lord. Okay. I got chills, man. I got chills. This is like the entrance. It's so many people in there. Um, I'm really excited. I'm not sure what to expect, but apparently like I don't know what to expect. I really, I can't tell you. I'm not sure. I am nervous right now. I'm, I'm literally shaking. Um, I don't even know why because I'm just picking up a bib but I feel like this makes it feel real and I feel like everyone is so sweet though because every time people see me vlogging they're like smiling at the camera and Donald is being paparazzi over there and like getting close-up shots of me because they're trying to like do a whole thing I can't wait for y'all to see that like the film of me actually running um, so yeah exciting times exciting times I'm waiting for the Strava team to come here okay they're almost here We're about to kill it. And Donald got one and I'm about to get one too. Hi. Thank you. We're on sale for one eight. Should get it. Yo, we're back home. Don't know. What's wrong with you? Do you want the white or the orange one? What do you want? Shut up. Donald thinks I'm upset and I am, but like I just want this fing week to be over with. Like you guys, this is actually really cute. He's so predictable. You guys said you should put this in the comments. Say Sophie, congratulations, you're running out of box. Congratulations, you should do this. Congratulations. Okay, unbox yours. Oh, you don't want to unbox it yet? Go with that guy. Sophie, go with this. Look at that. I don't know. Why is now it in my face? Why is it focused? Why is it focused? Is it focused? It is. It's focused on our leaf color. I have new earphones. Crazy that I want to test them out while I'm doing a marathon. Well, these are so cute. I'm just, I'm not, it's not like I'm, I'm, because oh, they know that. I just, I was like not in the best mood earlier today. Like when I woke up in the morning, I already said it. And I think like having to deal with everything that's going on right now is just like Would you adding feel to it. After like going to the expo? I, I was feeling better and then I came back to reality. You know what I mean? Reality sucks, man. Reality sucks. So you guys should know what reality Do you see the love is gone right through you? You know what's crazy? I just really wish my best friend was here. That's literally what I wish. That's what I want. I want her to be here. You know when someone is just like your little, like, if there's anything going on, Donald, shut up. Donald, get away. Yo, I swear. I swear. I'm coming all the way. Do you guys know where I live? Do you know where my house is? Someone does. I'm coming from. Hey, that's true. I'm coming from a long place. I do appreciate you being here. This is so crazy. Donald is upset because I said I wish my best friend was here because it doesn't feel like i am giving him enough. This is not bad at all. This is my new earphones. What do you think? Really? Yeah. I thought you can hear it. I swear, like you can hear it because you can hear it and you can also hear everything. Why do I want to hear everything? Because you're running, you don't want to miss any of the crowds or if you're shouting oh, my name. Yeah. Yes, yes. All right, love you. I was calling to say hi. Bye. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. This is perfect. Yes, yeah. thank you. Yeah. Okay. And that's oh, cute. I like that. Let me do a photo of the front. <laughs> my head is so big. Official. It's official. We got the goodies. I now have to cook because my auntie and the kids are coming. So we're about to head back home to go do that. I really love these shades. These are the Desi and Monet shades. And they're really doing their thing right now. I feel so cool. Hello, my buddy. Oh, wait. Hi. 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 Good 
morning, you guys. Guess who's here? Denny's here. <laughs> Look what she got. Siraj. We ready. Okay, my cousins are here too. And Denny came with the best freaking sign because the dog has already been in the shot, guys. Right. Hi. He should be in the shot again. Hi. <laughs> no way that is no. Don't you worry. No, because we gotta show you guys what is happening. The face in his No, because yes, <laughs> Big So got the little one. Not run now. Like I, I gotta like look up to make sure y'all are see me, and then I gotta book it. Oh my god! Let me post it on Snapchat. But I look so rough, you guys. Oh my god! I promise I was gonna come online looking crusty. <laughs> Big self, not the little one. Hey guys, good morning. It is actually 4:30 p.m. on Saturday. One day. Wait, you guys. By this time tomorrow, I should be almost crossing the finish line. I should be at mile 24 yes. at 4.30 p.m. tomorrow. Yeah. We can't wait. We can't wait. We can't wait. We can't wait. We got this. So proud of you. Fried chicken. Huh? Not fried chicken. <laughs> fried chicken. Fried chicken. Um, marathon day is tomorrow. Um, I was just working out at the gym, and I don't know if this angle is doing me justice, but you guys, I think my bum is growing bigger. Okay, it does not do me justice. We're not gonna do that. <laughs> um, my family is here and I am so happy. I am feeling very grateful. My friends made signs. I think I showed you guys earlier this morning. They're so pretty. Um, I came in for the full video and this is where I tell you guys that because this video has been so long, the actual full marathon vlog of the entire experience is coming out on YouTube on my other channel, The Oddity, right here. I'm launching a whole new series that I am not sharing with anybody but you guys. It's called The Oddity Tries. And it's basically just me trying different experiences and things. You guys know that every time I say I'm doing something, you guys are like, Sophie, why? And I don't know why, but I find myself happy when I try new things and new experiences and I push myself to always be better. And one of the biggest ways to do that is like trying new things. So The Oddity Tries is gonna be just me doing different things like jumping out of the plane, trying waxing, trying marathon, and trying to triathlon, like any single thing that I can think of that I want to do, we're going to try it and we're launching it this year. So I'm really excited about that. I've been working on it for a minute and this was like the first time I was like, you know what, let's do it. So it's going to be a whole little movie. They already try is running a marathon. Um, so you guys will watch that when it comes out. It comes out, I think, in two weeks. By the time you're watching this, it might be coming out right after this video or the video. I'm gonna link it in the description if it ever does, when it comes out, not if, because it will come out. But y'all are just gonna see like this part of like the process and then you're gonna watch the full marathon day vlog on that channel. So I love you guys so much. We're not done. Um, Tonight we're gonna like carb load because apparently before a marathon you're supposed to carb load. Carb load means like eating a lot of carbs. So I'm gonna carb load. I'm about to shave my head right now to get ready for like marathon day itself. Like fully prepared for marathon day my hair isn't too bad but i'm gonna shave it i was gonna wax my brows but i think they're fine um lashes are on because green lash girly um i don't think i'm gonna do makeup tomorrow i feel like it's weird to put makeup on when i'm running and sweating my marathon outfit is ready as well once we eat tonight that's pretty much it i wake up really early tomorrow to get on the bus to go to the starting line for the marathon which is around 5 30 a.m which sucks um but it sort of is what it is. I'm really excited either way. So that's what Girlie's going to be doing tomorrow. But let's shave. Let's get ready. You are going to be a part of the 0.01%. <sighs> yeah. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> I scared myself. I'm adorable. Okay. Chill. <laughs> Anyways, let's shave and shower. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to quickly do our race day checklist um, to get everything started. Literally, 
I don't know if y'all can see it, but I need to plan what my meals are going to be on the race. I want to see what time I'm going to bed. I'm trying to go to bed at like nine tonight because I have to wake up at 3.34. Um, and then, yeah, I feel like I'm gonna just do that. So we're gonna like sit down for a bit and like plan stuff. And then once that's done, I would be set. I'm a bit nervous now, but good nervous, good nervous. I also need a second breakfast tomorrow morning. So I wanna make sure I know like what I'm making. And then I think we'll see, we'll see. All right, y'all, so my clothes are ready. Um, I told you guys I'm gonna be wearing this. I think I'm gonna just take this with me. I don't know if they're gonna let me wear it on my way there or do I get dressed before I start, but I'm gonna have this in a bag with me. And then I'm also wearing this. My name on it, I, remember, I feel like I've shown y'all that already. And this says oddity at the back, so I think that's cute. I feel like I'm gonna be really, really cold before we start. And I think I should wear like a long sleeve top instead of this, but I'm just gonna risk it, which doesn't feel like a smart idea, but that's what we're doing. I just saw that my friend brought Rice Krispie Treats and I'm thinking, should I take that with me? I don't think so, right? I also drink a lot of Red Bull and I never drank it before I ran, so maybe I should do Red Bull too. Maybe not, I shouldn't do that. Then, these are my babies. This is everything that's gonna take me through tomorrow, all the gels. Did you guys know when you're running a marathon, you need to eat on the way, but I need to make sure they fit into the little like thing I have. Let me show you what I mean. So my gels need to all fit in here. Oh, it has like a little back thing. Can they all just fit in there? Or is it gonna be too heavy for me to run? Cause if it does that, then I feel like that might be annoying. Actually, no, right? Is it coming out? No, okay. I think this works. I think that works and then I can just always when I need to slow down or anything, let me see, let me practice. No, that's too low. <laughs> I don't know if I have to take it too low. It's too low. And I don't wanna have to stop. I wouldn't want to stop to like take it out. Okay, so we're gonna have to stuff them in these pockets instead. This, I'm thinking of putting Red Bull in instead of putting Red Bull in instead of Gatorade because they already didn't give us Gatorade on the track. You guys, if you don't have any idea what I'm talking about, don't worry, I don't either. I'm just winging it at this point. All right, y'all, last thing I'm trying to figure out is do I need to put my bib on first? This was my pre-check bag, why didn't you use it? But I think, oh, wait. Do I put my stuff in here? I think I'm just gonna take it. This is just a paper. <gasps> ah! No, no, my period. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't need this. I just need this. I'm telling you, I should do stand up. That story was very <laughs> true. I should do stand up. Sophie's carving up. I want you guys to count how many times. You know what? If if this video gets a thousand, like, how many likes do you normally get on your vlogs? If this video gets a thousand likes, I'll play the raw video from Sophie's marathon run with how many times she actually farts. I will find <laughs> this moment and I'll enhance it. <laughs> I don't know. Come on, I have zero shame in this. You guys, I'm carb loading. I'm so sleepy and it's 6 30. I can't sleep yet. Because I'm supposed to part three. Let's do it. I need eight hours of sleep, right? No. But I need more? Yes. Oh. You just need to go to bed. Should I go to bed at eight? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Don't, you're dramatic. It's so annoying. Damn. I'm doing it. I'm running my first marathon tomorrow. You know how I feel? In this video, I feel like they've seen the roller coaster of emotions. Roller coaster is crazy. But I feel like I have a reward at the end of this that you know about, so I'm really excited for that. Oh. Uh, <laughs> we just communicate with our eyes. More food. <laughs> it's true, so you can eat. No! <laughs> <laughs> you guys, my laugh has changed. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with my laughs recently. I gotta figure that out. Um, I'm so. <laughs> Such a hater, look at her. Where is it standing? Hater. But, um, yeah, I'm really excited. No, for real, because I look like a hater. Yes. You literally are dressed like one. I'm dressed like a mother, like an African mother. African mothers are haters. Oh, yeah, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Love my mom, mommy. You put it No. I actually did. Ja, Jehovah. Hello, Maniki. What just happened? So sleepy. Wait, you actually. Wait, I'm so are you, sleepy. Are you I haven't pooped yet. That's crazy. I know. I, I need to poop. Today. <laughs> you use a poop tick again, energy. I'm gonna also take like Pepto Bismol. With this energy. No. Let me tell you guys a quick joke. That's why I'm in silence with me. 
Let's do a quick joke. Sophie is running her first marathon on period. <laughs> I hate to do that. On period. Put Get it? it? Put it on. Turn the camera. Turn the camera. Cut 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 the camera. Y'all fam, I think I am going to end the vlog here. I'm getting a massage by mama. Right. And um, I am literally finalizing everything else. I am about to go to sleep. I'm going to be sleeping early because I have to wake up at 4 a.m. Don't forget, the full video will be out really soon. I am really excited for everything. I am very nervous right now, but I'm also really good. I love you guys so much. I'm gonna be great. I took my coffee down. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. You say bye, Mama. Bye. You say bye, Sonia. Bye, guys. You wanna say bye, y'all?